The following program is intended for informational purposes only and not as a standalone training tool. Please refer to the Flexco website and other Flexco literature for detailed instructions. Prior to any work on your conveyors, make certain that the power has been turned off and that the belt is locked out. Follow other safety precautions outlined in the operator's manual and be sure to wear all recommended safety equipment prior to engaging in any belt maintenance procedure. Before installing a splice using the clipper hook lacing system, be absolutely certain that both belt ends are square. For information on recommended belt squaring procedures, please consult Flexco literature describing belt squaring techniques or the Flexco video entitled Correct Belt Squaring Procedures. Once the belt is squared, you have several installation options available to you. The clipper wire hook fastener system is a low profile, machine applied fastener. The lacing procedure allows for quick and consistent fastener installation. Clipper lacers range from simple vice lacers, ideal for the user with just a few belts to lace, to high volume production lacers, such as the electric hydraulic laser or the pro lacers. Among our most popular lacing tools are the portable, easy to use roller laser and micro laser. This program will demonstrate the clipper lacing procedure using the clipper roller laser. For additional instructions on the use of any clipper installation tool, please consult the specific tool literature available from Flexco. If the belt has an impression cover, the impression must be skived back 25 millimeters. Be sure not to skive into the carcass during this procedure. To determine the correct fastener size for your application, measure the belt thickness as well as the diameter of the smallest pulley around which the belt wraps at least 90 degrees. Then, using the clipper wire hook reference charts displayed in Flexco literature or on the Flexco website, select the fastener size that corresponds to those measurements. When determining how many hooks you will need for installation, be sure to leave approximately 6 millimeters on each belt edge unlaced. This allows for notching the trailing end of the splice and will help prevent exposed end hooks from being torn out if the belt mistracks. Finally, always install one more hook on the leading end of the belt than on the trailing end. Clipper hooks are available in either carded or unibar configurations. Unibar hooks are supplied in a strip with each hook welded to a common bar, offering easier installation. The unibar hook points are covered with a safety strip that is easily removed prior to installation. Carded hooks come with one of two carding paper systems. This style is removed prior to installing the hooks onto the belt. The other style is removed after hooks have been installed in the belt. Now we will begin the fastener installation. After selecting the face strip corresponding to your selected hook size, raise the locking levers into the unlocked position and remove the lacer pin. Move the lacer head to either end of the lacer. Open the rollers by turning the adjusting knob clockwise. Insert hooks into the face strip, reinsert the lacer pin, and push down the locking levers into the locked position. Remove the safety strip or carding paper at this time if using either of these hook styles. Next, insert the belt through the belt clamp and position the belt flush against the face strip and lock the belt clamps. Now move the lacer head over the hooks. Close the rollers by turning the adjusting knob counterclockwise until the rollers contact the hooks. Return the lacer head to either end of the lacer and tighten the adjusting knob an additional one and a half turns. Turning the drive handle, move the lacer head across the entire width of the belt. When the lacer head moves off the belt, tighten the adjusting knob an additional half turn and return the lacer head across the width of the belt. This procedure should be repeated until the hooks are fully clinched. The hooks are properly sized and clinched when one-third to one-half of the wire diameter is embedded into the belt, the hook points slightly penetrate the opposite side, and when the hook legs are parallel, the loop should not have a light bulb shape.
Be sure to inspect the bottom of the splice to make sure the hooks are clinched. Once the splice is complete, open the belt clamp, release the locking levers, loosen the rollers, remove the laser pin, and remove the belt. A note of caution, never use a hammer to finish clinching belt hooks. This can tear the belt fabric and cause premature splice failure. To lace belts wider than the width of the lacer, also known as continuous lacing, remove the lacer pin, move the lacer head to the open end of the lacer, and open the rollers. Load hooks into the face strip, starting with the first active lacing slot next to the extra deep lacing slots. Reinsert the lacer pin, push down the locking levers, and, if applicable, remove the carding paper. Now insert the belt through the belt clamp and position it flush against the face strip with the previously laced hooks positioned in the extra deep slots. Then simply repeat the lacing procedure we've already described. Once the other belt end is finished, notch the trailing edge, join both belt ends, insert the connecting pin, and the job is finished. For more information on clipper wire hook installation, go to www.flexco.com or contact your authorized Flexco distributor.